everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use an extended access list to block internet, FTP, and SMTP traffic from going out of your network. So we're using Practice Topology 5 with our three routers, and we're going to modify this topology simply by clicking on Router 3, and I'm going to drag it down here to the bottom left-hand corner. And then I'm going to move around my labels for Fast Ethernet 00 and 01. And I'm going to move this IP address for the link down here and also the loopback down here. So what this is simulating is that we have a company and R2 is the border router to the internet. And you can think of our loopback interface right here of all twos as the internet line going out. R1 and R3 you could think of as PCs or they could even be switches connecting to a lot of PCs over here. So let's say you have a question on your test that says, okay, you want to block all internal PCs, all internal traffic destined for port 80 from going out to the internet. So you want to block port 80 going out to the internet. But you want to allow port 80 to stay inside of your network. So let's say R3 was a web server, an internal web server. You want R1 and any other computer to hit R3 to get the internet or to get an internal web server. Well, this is kind of tricky, right? And then let's say that all you, the only thing you can do here is a single access list attached to a single interface. Well, this is definitely a case where you can use an access list and then hook it to make it go out and interface. So in this case, you're gonna make an access list and I'm just going to prototype it out here by clicking the text symbol right there. I'm gonna type some stuff out and we're basically gonna say deny web traffic and permit anything else. Okay, that's, that's our prototyped access list right there. We'll get into more details as we, as we get in there, but you know, that's basically what we want. We want to deny web traffic and then we want to permit anything else. And then we're actually going to hook it on to loopback zero going out. So R1 and R3 can talk just fine. Any internal traffic, not a problem. It can hit R2. R2 is not going to mess with that traffic. It's not even going to inspect it until that traffic tries to go out loopback zero. Now in real life, you wouldn't actually hook on this type of access list onto a loopback you'd actually hook it onto the fast ethernet line going out okay so your your dsl line or your cable modem line or your t1 line going out that is where you would hook the access list but in our case we're pretending so we're going to be hooking it onto loopback zero okay let's see if we can do this we'll go on to r2 go on to r2 we'll do conf t access list this is going to be an extended access list because we're going to be denying by port numbers. Access list 100, question mark, and we are denying. And we will put TCP, deny TCP, question mark, any, and then equals, we're going to equal, and as we hit question mark and tab down here, or space down there, you could see www. So anything that equals web, question mark, going to anywhere. So the way this reads out is, I'm gonna make an access list, 100. I'm going to deny web traffic from any place to any place. So basically deny web traffic. We'll hit enter right there. And that's all well and good, but if I hook this onto the interface, I'm actually gonna be denying everything because there's an implicit deny all at the end of this. So what I want to do is I want to actually permit ping. So access list 100 permit ICMP any any. So that will permit my pings. And let's see what else we want. Let's say we want to do something where I want to permit uh, email. Right, so I'm going to permit SMTP. So I'm going to permit TCP, question mark, any, EQ for equal, 
and you can see here we have SMTP. Now, if you don't want to type in the actual protocol, you can type in the port number if you know it. So access list 100, permit TCP any equal SMTP. Whoops. And we have to follow that by any. We'll hit the up arrow and we'll allow pop. So we'll let people pop their mail. Whoops. EQ. Let's see if we have pop in there. Pop three actually. Any. And that should work. We'll exit out, do a show access list to take a look at our access list. Always a good idea to check things out. So sequence number 10, we're we are denying web traffic. Then we're permitting ICMP, which is our pings and our echoes and trace routes and all that good stuff. We are then permitting SMTP and we're permitting POP, so email should not be a problem. Unless they're using a Gmail. Gmail, since it's used over a web browser, is going to be port 80. All right, now we need to hook it onto the interface. We're going to go conf t, interface, loopback, zero. And then it's going to be IP access group 100 out. IP access group 100 out. And there you go. That is how you configure an access list to block web traffic, but let everything else through going out to the internet. So all we had to do is make the access list, four line access list in our case, and then we hooked it onto the loopback zero interface. And the direction we're going to do it is out, going towards the internet. And that allows all of our internal servers or and internal routers, internal PCs, to talk to each other without a problem. So if R3 has a web server, internal web server, that is not affected. And we're doing this with a single access list hooked onto a single interface. Thanks for watching.